graphing motion is a difficult concept and in this short video clip I will give a conceptual basis as to why the position versus time graph is curved when there is acceleration. So specifically we'll graph position versus time when the acceleration is greater than zero. Uh, let's have an initial starting position of zero and an initial velocity of zero. And let's draw the graph. So time on the x-axis, position on the y-axis. And um, if the starting position is zero, then we start right here. At time zero, the position is zero. And the graph will look like this. And now let's understand why. Why does an acceleration, or I should say a position versus time graph with acceleration, have this curved structure? Well, let's take a look at the different at the time intervals. So one, two, three, four, and five. And note that when graphing, it's very important that one second is equal to one second. So the distance of those two should be the same. And now let's look at how much distance was gained in the first second. Well, it's this much. You started here, you ended up there, so you gained that much. Now in the second second, well, you started here, and you ended up there, so you gained this much. Now from the, in the third second, from two to three, you start here, and you end up here, and so you've gained this much, and similarly, from three to four seconds, you've gained this much. Now notice, notice how in the first second, you covered this much distance. In the second second, from one to two, you covered this much. And in the third, this much. It keeps getting larger and larger. If the distance gained is increasing, then the speed must be increasing and if the speed is changing, you have acceleration. And if the speed is increasing, you have positive acceleration. Thank you.